All right, uh, this is your host, Baron Von Hongster, and uh, welcome to Let's Play Civ 2 Multiplayer Gold Edition. Okay, that's uh, having a little bit of technical difficulties here, but uh, I'll run into that in just a second. Uh oh, what's going on? Someone's taking over my computer and doing stupid shit. Okay, I'm going to close this. I was just playing a game, but we'll start that up again. All right, so Civ Multiplayer Gold. Uh, this is a game that I play a lot, actually, uh, almost all the time. Uh, no, I am not a pro, and I do not con consistently beat it beat it on uh, deity level. But I just like to play it to relax and stop play comp stop beating up on the computer. So I'm gonna customize world here, okay? because I like to be in control of uh, what the world looks like and I'm gonna go with a custom map size of 80 by 125 and that's about as big as we can get to not uh, surpass the 10,000 tile limit here okay we want large land masses and we want continents let's not uh, play uh, island hopping uh, World War II let's look for the Japanese or anything okay I'm gonna go with wet and warm because I like grassland and I like swamps and I like uh, jungles instead of desert and go with uh, five billion year olds uh, earth that way we have uh, not so many mountains alright so I'm gonna go with chieftain because I just like to build the empire and I don't really care to get beat up by the computer. Uh, seven civs is good. Uh, raging hordes give the other civs something to uh, concentrate on while I'm building my forces. Alright, customize rules. Let's go with uh, no, no, no. Wow, nothing here really worth picking. Okay. Mail. I'm gonna play as a Chinese, but I'm gonna customize that. I am Baron Von Hungster, BVH, and uh, I will be commanding the Hapa Nation. Uh, you might be wondering what the Hapas are. Uh, it means half in Hawaiian, and uh, there are a lot of fine half white, half Asian girls out there, which I will hopefully be able to share with you throughout the course of this uh, SIF 2. Expedition. All right, we're gonna go with the Far East Pavilion because of the Asian in the culture. Okay, and now it says the Hapa Nation uh, has knowledge that these don't really matter. Alphabet bronze working. Uh, let's hope for two settlers. And again, we are screwed, as you can see here. Now we have to contend with the tundra. We're on the very south end of the map. I'm going to go to game options and turn off instant advice and tutorial. Otherwise every other move they're going to tell me is a good place to build which isn't always the case okay so I'm going to take my one settler and explore this hut and we have mercenaries awesome now the great thing about looking for those huts before we find a building place location is that it is a non supported unit what this means is it does not a drain on your resources for your cities uh, your cities don't have to support these units, but they still work for you. Very helpful if you're going to be moving to democracy or republic later on. And Leonardo's Workshop does uh, upgrade these guys for free and keeps them non-supported as well. Okay, so I'm going to move the chariot north because I am on the south end, and we're going to follow the coastline. Why? Because I'm just anal about making sure exactly how big the landmass I'm on. Um, so we're going to walk into that forest even though I can move two spots. So over here we have uh, some fish and we have some corn. Uh, mutual build spot would be here. Not enjoying the tundra though. Let's move in this direction see what else there is. Okay. Continuing along the coast at midnight with the chariots. Um, Civ 2 actually doesn't differentiate between days and night. 
but that was just a reference to Legend of the Five Rings. Uh, uh, excellent collectible card game, by the way. If you've ever played Magic the Gathering and would like something more in depth, uh, more military, more strategy, less about uh, alternate ways of uh, depleting your opponent's uh, deck of cards and just actually playing uh, you know field mechanics and tactics that is an awesome game especially if you have some friends who also play that was one of the well, da uh, one of the downfalls for me is that uh, all my friends stopped playing can't really play a card game unless someone else is playing with you all right so the chariot's gonna continue on along oh we just hit the top of the uh, uh, this is bad. Alright, we'll just keep going around. And we'll just use a settler to move around and... Oh, there's a hut. I'm going to use a settler to move around and just try to find a, a starting area that has uh, an abundance of trade. Something with gems or spice or silk, gold, wine... You know, we want to build a super science city as quickly as we can. Uh, but I will give myself until about 3500 BC to find something worth building on. Okay, so we're going to continue down. And let's take the hut. More mercs, awesome. Uh, archers kind of suck ass. Oh well. Okay, let's keep going. Still haven't found any uh, other sieves yet. We're on a really big map here, so... So uh, the chances of that happening are not very great. Okay, I see uh, some coal down here. Let's see what else is down here. Oh, jeez. Okay, 50 gold. That'll help later on. Okay. So I'm going to move the archers to the east. And see what we can find here. Oh, there's a whale. Huh. Lots of grassland. This is very good. I did not want to start somewhere with a lot of plains or a lot of forests and more free mercs. All right. So we'll move the archer up along the coastline and uh, we'll move into more free fashion with the chariot. All right. I'm going to stop here and see how that records. Okay.